going on everybody it's your boy Bees the truckster and welcome back to dance and master class continuing from the last video we're going to add some effects or some effects effects or effects whatever you want to call it to the effects that we already have on the track namely a telephone effect on one or two of the delay doors so um just as a quick refresher as to what we have been doing so far i'm going to play the verse or the hook that i have looped out here just to kind of refresh on what we have been doing tick tick my life up the way you know about my bank account every and my crew out now fucky fucky so my name no they all about me the haters them at all about now i have no time to watch girl chat girl my body clean and firm and natural Everything up from a wake up, make up, up, life sweet, what up, your guns. Cool. So, you can hear, we have the throws going on here. We did some basic automation. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the vocals out of the master channel and just listen to the delayed signal. So basically, that's what I'm talking about right there. So basically, to get the desired effect of what I am talking about, we need to send the delayed signal into uh, EQ, basically, or anything that can give you a telephone effect. There are multiple different things. So for right now, we're just going to use an EQ. So let's load up the dual filter which is basically an EQ, right? So the reason why I'm going to use this, so let's see if this has a frequent, yes, this will do, perfect. So if we listen to just the delayed signal, no chorus, no ear, no reverb. Let's turn off the beat. Right, so we have the delayed signal, cool. But we want to then affect our effect one or two of the, the thrust, namely the second one. So the thing with, with doing it is there is two ways of doing it. So you can either directly affect it on the channel itself, which would be the more secure way or the better way of doing it. But the way how I am going to do it is I'm going to do basically a send, just like how we send the level into the delay for it to get the delay or just like how we send the dry signal into the delay to get processed and add the delay to it we're going to send the delay out into another track to add the telephone effect so the thing we're doing it that way is that we're adding one extra step because when we send the delayed signal out into another channel like here we are then basically affecting the signal once again, because the signal that's on this track will still go to the master. So we'll still hear the natural dry delay. So now we have the unnecessary step of having to back this out of the master track, which is another automation move. So like I said, the better way to do it would be to just put the effect, instead of putting it on its own channel like that, delete it and put it on the delayed signal cool so this is where we want it to happen so basically we can loop this section right here and listen and just tweak the, 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 the EQ until we get it to sound as we want basically if I were to show you this on a parametric EQ the telephone effect occurs right around this region, right? So what we do is filter out low, filter out high, like that. This is basically a telephone effect. So if I were to play, and then without this, you know what I mean? The way that you get it to kind of sound gritty and grungy and 
you know, is to basically increase the resonance. So the more I boost this mid-range, the more you get that telephone type of sound. So that's doing it on a parametric EQ. Doing it on an EQ where you cannot see anything is basically the same thing. You just kind of have to visualize it in your mind. So basically we cut all the way up to about a thousand hertz. Or I mean 10K, not, not a thousand. So can go up. Anywhere from about 4,000 and up is fine. So let's, let's start at 4,000. And then we cut. So if we play. But that's still clean though. So you increase resonance. This is a different style of EQ. We don't have the option of boosting here. So like I said, we have to visualize. This is just basically adding resonance. But as you can see, this is a much There we go. So basically we cut everything above 2200 and we're just basically letting through if we show it like this. This is basically all that we're letting through right here. So if we open this up or we could basically cut out of that and then open up like this. And then if we increase the resonance We get that effect that we're talking about. So basically, like I said, to kind of get it to only come in there, we will have to automate it. So basically, because we have this section selected. Now I'm going to right click here, create automation clip. So now when I raise this level up to 100 here, this is the only part of the track where the telephone effect will affect the the vocal signal coming from the delay right so if we play this first part it's normal you know what i mean we play here but because this signal is delayed we need to basically make sure it's covered Cool. So let's deselect that. Let's select here. Let's put the audio back into the master and take a listen. Happy way you know about my bank account, every and my crew out. Now fucky fucky some in him, no they all about me the eight has them at all about. Cool. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just simple stuff like that that just adds to the overall quality of the mix. The way you know about my bank account, every and my crew out. Now fucky fucky so my name, no they all about. Me the eight has them at all about. No I have no time to watch. Cool. Perfect. So adding an effect to an effect. And then we can even go further, right? So if I wanted to, I could basically take the delayed signal and it's not showing me the the, the arrows to link this track to any of these regular tracks because it is an arc track. So what I could do is take this delayed signal and then route it into any one of these reverbs. You know, so I could route it in here. Let's turn off the beat. So now we have a delayed reverb signal, which could enhance the track as well. If we listen, let's turn this on because we don't want it to be too loud. The way you know about my bank account, every and my crew out. No fucky fucky, so my name no they all about me. The eight has you know, especially on the telephone effect, it made that sound very good. So what we could do as well is some more automation. Basically, we could select this whole area once again. Let's go all the way across. And this is X FL Studio exclusive where you have to select this area to do this. So select this whole area. Then we can now, on the short verb, right click here, copy the value, put it to zero. So it's not affecting the signal. Create an automation clip. It will create a clip with the starting point at zero. And then here where the delay triggers, we could paste the value here. 
paste it here and just make sure that that's the only place we want it to affect. You know, so now if we play, that's normal. But now when it comes to that part, we have the reverb and the delay. Turn the beat off. You know, just simple stuff like that, you know, adding effects to effects. You know, and it goes much deeper. We'll get into a lot more of that stuff. So until next time, it's your boy's Beast the Trackstar. Peace.